morning and happy day to you all dear brothers and sisters wherever you are scattered over the face of the earth. I am by name Zijaki Langunda, your brother the reformer from Rwanda, who is greeting you, wishing you heavenly benedictions and inviting you in today's word, the word through this voice, the voice of reformation. Uh, today's word is going to be talking about the prophecy, prophecy of Revelation 13. To be specific, we are going to see the beast's deadly wound and the healing of the wound. Let us pray and then we go further. Our heavenly kind Father, your sons and daughters are happy that we are still alive. It is from your kind protection upon us. May your whole name be praised. It is our great privilege and opportunity to have your word once again. We pray for provision of the Holy Spirit to accompany your word in order that both me, the speaker, and the listeners may be saved by your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Welcome back, brothers and sisters. As we have told you, we are going to be learning prophecy of Revelation 13, uh, but dealing with the beast's deadly wound, and the healing of the wound. We are going to read from Revelation 13, verse 1. And I stood up on the sand of the sea, and saw a beast lies up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten clowns, and upon his head is the name of blasphemy. Verse 2. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him his power, and his seat, and great authority. Pay attention, brothers and sisters, about verse 2. It is telling us that John the Revelator saw the beast, which was like a, a leopard, was feet was like the feet of the bear, and his mouth was like the one of a lion, then it has the power, seed, and great authority from a dragon. What is the dragon? When we read Revelation chapter 12 verse 9, we read about the dragon. The Bible says, And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceives the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. This is clear that the dragon, it is very amazing and fearful that the beast that, that is here in Revelation 13 has the power and seat and great authority from Satan himself. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death. And his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wandered after the beast. And they worshipped the dragon which gave the power unto the beast, and they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make a war with him? Verse 5. And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies, and power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. Verse 6. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. Verse 7. And it was given unto him to make the war with the saints and to overcome them. And the power was given him over the kindreds and tongues and the nations. Verse 8. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leads into captivity shall go into captivity. He that kills with a sword must be killed with a sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. 
Let me remind you that in prophecy, the beast symbolizes the power, authority, and kingdom. Then, the first beast of Revelation 13 is referring to Roman Catholic papacy. Verse 3 of Revelation 13, John the Revelator saw that one of his head, as if it had been mortally wounded, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world marveled and followed the beast. The fulfillment of beast's deadly wound took place in the year of 1798. This is the time when General Berthier, at the head of the French army, entered Rome and declared the end of the political rule of the papacy. Thus, he took the Pope captive into France and he soon died. This was done under the direction of French leader Napoleon Bonaparte. The healing of the wound. In the years to follow the French Revolution, there was a gradual revival in the papal power. However, the wound received a healing in the year of 1929 when the Lateran Treaty gave back temporal power to the Pope. This is to mean that the healing of the wound is the time when Pope or Papacy was given back his power and authority. Subsequently, he was given the rule of Vatican City, a section of the city of Rome about 108.7 acres in extent. However, the Bible predicts an even greater healing of the wound. This will be when all that dwell upon the earth, as the Bible says, except a faithful few would worship the beast. The Bible says, all who dwell on the earth will worship him whose names have not been written in the book of life of Lam Sulayin from the foundation of the earth. Revelation 13 verse 8. What about the beast today? Today, this prophecy is being fulfilled before our eyes as the papacy is gaining worldwide influence and power. Also, the second beast of Revelation 13 verse 11 that causes the earth and those who dwell in it worship the first beast, which is papacy, was the deadly wound was killed, telling those who dwell on earth to make an image to the beast who was wounded by the sword and lived, and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. Understandably, the second beast is identified as the United States of America. Eventually, the United States of America is to make an image of the beast. This is to be done by legislating religious laws that are biased to the purposes and beliefs. Here, this is what the prophet Ellen G. White said about this prophecy. We quote her words from last day events. On page 129, paragraph 2 and paragraph 3, we read, The prophecy of Revelation 13 declares that the power represented by the beast with the lamb-like horns shall cause the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the purpose. There symbolized the beast like unto a leopard. This prophecy will be fulfilled when the United States of America shall enforce Sunday observance, which Rome claims as the special acknowledgement of her supremacy. Political corruption is destroying love of justice and regard for truth, and even in free American rulers and legislators, in order to secure political favor, will yield to the popular demand for a law of enforcing Sunday observance. You see that this prophecy is to be fulfilled by the Protestant America. Unfortunately, brothers and sisters, these laws are contrary to God's word and will force people to either obey them or suffer death. But brothers and sisters, in Revelation 13 verse 9 and 10, 
there is words of warning to those two beasts and promise to saints i mean the faithful few words who are to suffer violence persecution and death it is written if any man have an ear let him hear he that reads into captivity shall go into captivity he that kills with a sword must be killed with a sword here is patience and faith of the saints brothers and sisters may god keep blessing you